crappy freaking day here in uh, Boulder, Colorado. Now I'm in process of starting my run. I'm running out to my grandma's house, which is probably like six or seven miles away. I have vitamins there and a mystery box that I gotta do an unboxing with. By the time this is out, I've probably done um, a video on Facebook showing what's inside, and I'm gonna give that, that those contents away probably tomorrow. So you guys might be able to get on that. So when this video goes up, make sure you go right over to Facebook and comment so you have a chance to win a mystery box. God, it's cold having my hand out. It sucks, I gotta put my glove back on. Nice hair, dude, holy crap. An hour later, I ran pretty good. I think it was like a sustained 145 to 155 heart rate. Felt pretty good once I got going. Probably at least, probably the voyage out from my house to my grandma's house is like six or seven miles. I think I ran probably about six. Doing a little walk, walking cool down right now. Feeling good, feeling good. This next week, my trainer is um, calling it hell week because I'm gonna be, running but also doing strength training like dips dead bugs and a whole bunch of other stuff working out man i'm finally doing it it's always been like oh i'm gonna i got this next off season i'm gonna work out and do it but i never have but like now i'm actually doing it just freaking do it man i'm wearing adidas but that's a great saying nike I think most of you can relate to me unless you're a freaking slob is when the day you wash your sheets. It's like you wake up and you're like, Ugh, I probably should wash them today. No, but no, I don't need to. But yes, I do. Fine, I'll do it. And it's kind of nice at the moment because then you don't really have to make your bed. But then later in the day it hits you, you got to like actually make your bed even better than it was before my sheets are in the dryer right now i'm dreading this moment it's some it's sunday bum day i feel really tired i just napped i think it's because of that run i went pretty hard on that run yeah i pay for it uh right now i gotta go meet up with a friend to go play disc golf and then i'm going kirtan tonight kirtan i bet you a lot of you don't even know it This is not Kirtan like. He gets down to the four yard line. I just been score and then they give Oakland a chance. I just been chanting at Kirtan. That was a lot of fun. A lot of <laughs> you, you guys are probably like, what the heck is Kirtan? It's like a, a form of meditation, yoga, and chanting. It's actually really fun because they get freaking going and it's some it's some good music. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, I gotta do this. I forgot. Yesterday, I asked you, why can't you go vegan? And here's my favorite response. Hero, heroic, the, however you say it. It's kind of, it's a funny comment. He answers, honestly, I can't go vegan because I have a deep-seated fear of cows. And every time I see a fresh steak on my plate, I know at, there's at least one more cow that won't kill me. You know they kill more people than sharks every year? That's scary stuff, man. That's my favorite comment. It's 
really stupid, but it's really freaking funny. <laughs> All right, so today I am going to ask you. How do you not get that interception? How do you not get that interception? Post your. He's pretty salty about the Cowboys game. So the comment I ask, <laughs> what I'm asking you is, how do you not get that interception? Post your interesting or creative spots in the comments below. And until next time, guys, thanks for tuning in to day 17 of Vlogmas. Until tomorrow, keep on dreaming.